So now that we're done with the the cringy stuff, now comes the creepy stuff. Yeah, uh, and this yay. is and this is creepy, guys. So this is a video, uh, and the topic is pretty easy to understand. Demi Moore, um, who you will know as the cougar wife of Ashton Kutcher, proved that she was uh, a predator long, long before then. Uh, in this video from like the '80s, where she is seen kissing a 15 year old boy. At his fifteen year, at his fifteenth birthday party, is that confirmed yes, that he had just turned fifteen that yes, day? Yes. Yep. Wild. So this was her co-star on what was it, General Hospital? Yes. They. It's it's weird that they're co-workers. It's weird that he literally just turned fifteen. It's weird that there is a random small child sitting in between them as they're making out. It's weird that there's a woman randomly singing somewhere over the rainbow right next to them and so, being really awkward about it. Like, there's nothing not weird about this clip. So, so the actor's name is Philip Tanzini. And I'm going to point out, so he was born on 1967 Demi Moore was born on 11-11-1962. So the idea here is that she had just turned 19 and like a couple of months before, and he had just turned 15. The problem is, guys, this kid looks like he's like two years old, and her behavior is very druggy and very, very familiar. I'm not, I can't claim to know that she was on drugs, but... There, yeah. there is, she is. And then on top of that, she <laughs> looks that. <laughs> like she appears a lot older than 19 yes. and her voice is older than the average 19 year olds. It's just let's, let's watch. Let's watch. So, so, the, the reason that this clicked for me, the story was like, I was like, this is the chick that married De Ashton Kutcher. And everyone thought it was like weird because they she did. was older. Well, then people called Ashton Kutcher creepy for being in a relationship with um, Mila Kunis. See, Waffle Why? Sensei says she should be go to jail, but the kid is a Chad. See, look, I mean, guys and girls are different. Yeah, it's the not guy, the same. This dude is not traumatized from no. this, but let's let's watch. Well, the clip. unless we hear something yeah. from him. Well, look, in this culture, you never know. <laughs> oh wow! Look at her. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, one more time. Oh, she really went for it. <laughs> Damn, she. And then there's just this random woman she, like singing she's like, somewhere so over the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is this? She's like, what the trying hell? To, she's like trying to sing like somewhere over the age of consent. <laughs> like, <laughs> please. I feel that joke. Like she literally more. just, she like literally just started. Like she wasn't even supposed to be singing. She's like, she's like, just make it stop. <laughs> she, she's just doing that to cope with the awkwardness. Oh, what? I don't know. Yeah, like okay, it's like, and it doesn't just stop there. That's like, it's she's overly familiar. She's on drugs. She has to be on drugs. I, she I can't really well, on it. on something. Um, and then why is there like this random like little child, younger them? kid in between them watching this? Look how like well, first of all, what this also proves is that those Dahmer glasses were total chick magnets. Which yeah. why didn't that work for me? The, okay. the, well, the reason, by the way, that people call Ashton Kutcher creepy for his relationship with Mila Kunis is because they met when she was 14 and he was like, I think he was 19. Yeah. But what creeps me out is like, she really went for And this was the kid's 15th birthday. He had just turned 15. And like, is he also drinking? Like, Hollywood is so weird, I would not put it Mary, past him. Mary says he can't be drinking. I'm like, oh. He don't need I was Hollywood I mean, when he was the eighties. Even crazier in this in another clip, he calls out to his mom who is watching this whole thing. His yeah. mother is in the room. Yeah. Um, and sure, doesn't uh, do anything Evan, about it. Like it's it's incredibly shocking. Evan five nine three five says there are only four years age difference between them, maybe five, Romeo and Juliet laws and all. She was married at the time of this. She it's was weird really? that, it's she also was weird that she's married. She yeah. was married to a guy named Freddie Moore who was twenty nine and started dating her when she was sixteen. Like, none of this is normal. <laughs> it's just, none of this is normal. Uh, Pulling off a of Seinfeld. Uh, and then, so so just, so she's been married three times. She was married to Bruce Willis yeah. from 87 the, to 2000. I feel like crazy because, because the reactions to this are completely split between people saying this is totally fine and what? other people being incredibly disturbed what? by it. And, like, you kind of can't win because if you say that it's okay, you're a groomer and if you say that it's not okay then you're called a puritan there's nothing say, in between i i think it's incredibly weird i will say that i don't think it's the right thing to do but i don't think for a second that this dude is traumatized not for a second okay so maybe he's not but also that's not the marker of something being no. ethical or not right mom and i hope they all love me 
We do love him. And I love them. Mm. Oh, it's so cute. Mm. I mean, he she's looks. Married. <laughs> he she, looks fine. She's married. And why is there a little kid between them? Who is that kid? Like, I don't understand. He's one of my most favorite people. And then oh, she's. she's uh, is completely Dude, incoherent. She's. she's <laughs> yeah, she's blank. Not okay. Or something. I mix me love. And I'm Philip Tanzini, and I play Jeremy, and you're stealing my part. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, like you said, there there is no winning in this argument, and like you said, it, like I said, it's a different time. Like they might, she didn't think it was, uh, she didn't think it was a problem. She wasn't thinking about anything. She wasn't thinking the, about anything from the sound of her. Like bro was bro, bro was having the time of his life, and I don't believe <laughs> yeah. for a second that he cared. I don't really know if I can talk. But then He's there are fine. other people who are saying like, I have a son this age, and. I would have been infuriated if somebody acted like this with him. Like, yeah, well, they weren't that age in the 80s. <laughs> it was the 80s. But, like, people are people. Human psychology has not fundamentally changed since the 80s, 90s, or 2000s. Well, like, yeah, but... Human yeah, but behavior... Hasn't it, though? No, it's not. It's See, like... But the problem is now we A thousand we've years ago, the human brain is the same as, as it is now. Evolution doesn't go that quickly. I don't think it's any. I don't think we're any different. I think now you're incentivized to find a reason to be a victim. What I think this is is Hollywood having always been weird, but finding new ways to hide. You know, in the present day, they're they have more ways <laughs> to keep how weird they are hidden from the public, and then point fingers at the rest of us. Matt, Matt Damon in chat says he's just top G. And then above that, the era of Quaaludes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, like, the first thing I thought yeah. of was Benzo or Opiate. Just, just. I'm just thinking I, plain old alcohol. Like, no, no. This didn't, this, this didn't look like alcohol to me. This Good old-fashioned like, being looked drunk like, as hell. This, no, this looked like to me like you're so high on pills that your nose feels warm and your fingers tingle. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and so, look. I mean, we she, can never know. She was but. 19. So, yes, the age difference, four years. F he, he, here. Oh, here it comes. Nice. You like it, Dane? Thank you, it's guys. Time? Party time. <laughs> God. No? Any fans of the mask here? I, 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 I hope I we don't it. get copyright claims. We'll see. For that. We'll, we'll see if that happens. Uh, so I saw this tweet that said, sick as this is, it's the tip of the iceberg. This is what they hide. And the reason these sorts of actions and perversions are pushed to be normalized and accepted by society. They invert what is real so they get away with it and not for much longer. Like this reminds me of the fact that there's a concerted effort right now to normalize the cougar reality dating I shows. Mean, I, right? I agree like, with the comments that we got before. That's been, they've been trying to, that's been, I'm that's very like factual. 20, they, they've been doing that for 30 like, years. Yeah. Like, it's, I think it's a very like concerted effort. And I, what I hate more than anything about the video isn't even just what's happening on the surface. It's that you can tell from her body language that she also thinks of herself as inherently superior to this other person like as a person and she is like descending down to his level and like getting off on the fact that she can get away with doing anything she wants because of her star power i i, I, I hate when celebrities display that kind of behavior and yes, she was high out of her mind. And it's a, it's a fair thing to point out. Like, look, if the genders were, if the roles were reversed, right? Yeah. Like, the the guy would be getting a lot of flack right now. True, um, and it's true. Like, but they weren't. Men and women are different. Men and women are different. Boys and like, girls are different. But at the end of the, of the day, like, no parent in their right mind watching this happen as his mother was yeah. would well just simply sit her back and there? allow that to happen like this is not cool am i messed up to think i i feel like my parents would not have given an f i mean they should mine, have mine if they would wouldn't know. i think it might be because we're dudes i i don't think my like i think a, a dude this ha I, this is a legitimate thing this our parents seeing got this happen to boys would be a lot different than this ha parents seeing this happen to their daughters. i mean i'd love to know what well there are people saying like i have a son this age and this would not be okay by me and then I wonder also what Dads does, and moms what, does would be Demi Moore's, what does Demi Moore's husband have to say about this as well? Let's like, get him on the show. <laughs> manifesting 2023. <laughs> Everyone we mention on the show. Demi Moore's ex husband. Get him on. Not, we don't want to have Demi Moore on. I want Chet Hanks. I mean, me too. Nothing to do Chet with Chet Hanks anything. is offering a discount on his program for New Year's. Well, there we go. 
I my, you know he's what he's turning steal. into my favorite person because his whole channel is like oh oh your 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 life's kind of hard shut the fuck up and just do the work Base. like he's like kind of like Papa Swolio the guy who says go to the gym his his whole channel is just him swinging a crowbar uh, like a, a club and saying go to the effing gym like that's basically what he is only he charges more money <laughs> I like that um. Like yeah, okay. We're getting we're getting all sorts of reactions in the chat. Like I said, there's no way for this to not be a divisive topic for people. I mean, why is it either people making comments that sexualize also a minor? Right. It or... does not make it right. Like nobody, like nobody's saying that any of this makes what she did right. No, there no. are people saying that. There are definitely people saying that. Not in our chat necessarily, <laughs> but there. I'm looking at the tweets. There are people who are totally for this, and I think that that's. That's yeah. a disturbing tell for like how we see children now. What? Where was her husband during this? Like, was yeah, her husband like, making out cool with his either. mom? Was her husband making out with his mom, and that's why this this they got away with this? <laughs> like, there are just no social boundaries observed by celebrities. Clearly, I want to know the lady that uh, that sung that song. Like, like what, what, what was, what was she about? thinking? Yeah, I like I want to know the details. And what who made was you that burst into song? Why? Why <laughs> yeah. are they? Why the small child in between? Them. like even then it seems like a house party like a family party but it's not it's like a business it's, it's party because like they're for, co-workers yeah well now i just gotta agree with brett it was the 80s you know like, it's, like, it's weird that they're co-workers it's weird that he literally it's just not weird that, that they're, it's not weird that they're co-workers it's in an industry where that's the norm is it weird that they're no, at no, the no. same party it's together? an industry it's an industry where I'm saying that them being coworkers makes this weirder. Not that it's weird that they're coworkers. Okay. Yes. And it's an industry, obviously, where minors and adults work together on a regular basis. But it's also an industry where all of those people are not capable of enforcing very normal, ordinary social boundaries between them. And let's and say four years. Okay. So so say we move this up ten years, and she's twenty nine, and he's twenty five. Obviously, that's not weird. The idea here is that you're ignoring the social conventions of the time, meaning that he's a child and you're an adult, and so you shouldn't do it there. You know, you know what I'm saying? But like, she's 19. I don't know. It just. I think she, she obviously has an ego trip about this going on in her yeah. head, that she's descending down to the level of someone she believes is inherently inferior to her. I think it's weird that there's like, like a... I think that's gross. In the third Transformers movie, they used like age of consent laws as like a storyline for like Mark Wahlberg's daughter in, in that what? movie. Yeah. There's like, they, they reference Romeo and Juliet laws in the in like, because like the boyfriend is a certain amount older than the daughter and he's like, it's too creepy that you're with my daughter. He goes, actually, it's not. And he pulls out a card that shows that it's legal for him to be with his daughter. It's like... It's, it's the it's Hollywood. It's the like in the is, 80s. It's just Hollywood. Hollywood doesn't care what's legal. They no. do what they want. And then they hide it from you. And then they point the finger at you saying you're the weird one for noticing that yeah. they're weird. And I I don't like the hypocrisy. Like I've, this I've, is what goes on in Hollywood to this very day. And yet they they point the finger at the rest of society saying that I think it's only we because he looks so childish. He, yeah, I think that that's, a, that's a big part of it. He looks yeah, 12. He looks like a kid. And she looks, doesn't look 19. Yeah, she looks like, 30. But if, if he looked like me when I was 15, I don't think anyone would. Like, this is... I'm actually, like, kind of here for Like, the chat. Like, everyone... <laughs> I'm here for Like, everyone's, like, kind of got a different opinion about yeah, this. Yeah. And, and then... I like it. Like, everyone's got their own opinions on it. I don't think it should have happened, but, you know... I don't think it should have been televised. That's uh, so weird. But actually, at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> At the same time, I don't care. And like yeah. I said, guys are different. He like this dude is not traumatized. This dude, if anything, if this dude didn't go on to keep acting, he told this story every day for like the next. He's telling it right now. The problem is the problem with asserting that is like a lot of people who are legitimate <laughs> victims of things aren't traumatized. It's, it's, and it's because they'll I mean, just make a story up about what happened. But in there's their mind, a case which by case is easier basis. than confronting the reality of what happened. There's levels. There's levels. It's it's a scale. Not all. Not everything is the same. Not Something. like I'm personally affected by this, but no, like I know, but I'm, just, I'm just pointing out Hollywood is obviously an incredibly insulated and socially maladjusted. It's an social yep. culture. Yep, I'm with that, you, and I don't relate to it. And I'm glad the, I'm not a part of it. The hard part of this job is we ask the tough questions here I on like Pop it. Culture Crisis. We really get down into. We're the, the journalists. Nitty. We're the journalists. The real journalists. Take that, no. Taylor Lorenz. As we actively concoct fake news <laughs> in this room every day. Well, that's that's all. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.